Hey everyone, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, we just got home from uh, the Broken Arrow Coin Show up in Tulsa. Uh, we wanted to tell you guys an important fact about the coin business. Um, early bird gets the worm. And so we're going to show you guys a few images um, and also show you a few coins today um, that we bought from the first dealer that showed up at the coin show. Um, he offered us great deals. Um, we paid up to get in, but we knew what we were getting, and so uh, let me take these upstairs for you guys, show you in the light box, and also uh, give you guys a perspective and why it's beneficial to show up early to any coin show. guys just made it up to the light box and we just spoke a little bit downstairs about how the early bird uh, gets the worm and like we spoke about downstairs uh, we got to the show extremely early um, on Friday morning uh, we actually ended up paying for a table but never getting a table so we paid for a table and said hey we don't have any inventory but can we come uh, buy some coins when the dealers are allowed in and they said heck yeah and so we found the first dealer that came in um, and we bought a whole bunch of coins from them. So let me show you guys all, the, all these coins today um, and maybe talk about some prices too. But hey, um, this is a 1942 over 1 XF40 uh, Mercury Dime PCGS. Um, it still has some nice details on it, not, not burnt as well, which is nice. Um, as you can see, it's got that uh, one right there. Really, really nice. Um, but yeah, we walked into the show. Um, and there was a guy setting up and uh, the, th the thing about if you want to work with somebody early and do something while they're kind of working hard on setting things up you just say hey you meet you meet and greet them so you know my name was Drew um, I shook his hand um, and what happened was he just said you know hey you know my name is so and so and uh, I'm setting up right now I said okay you know um, so then I went to the second phase and I said, I, you know, I'm a dealer here and I just picked up a table. We're really uh, hungry for inventory. Um, so we didn't even buy, get the table, but we got in with all the dealers. And if you have some time, I'd love to look through your stuff. And so, um, I took a seat and I waited for a few moments and then he picked up a box and said, Hey, start looking. And so we started looking, started making deals. And this was the first coin we picked up and it is a beautiful coin an amazing coin but if you guys want to buy coins like this we have a link in our description this one might be gone already but I encourage you guys to stop on by over there and uh, just help us out uh, we'd love your your help with selling coins and maybe finding something for you but let's jump into the next coin uh, we have a whole lot of cool ones to show you guys so this next coin is probably my favorite from the batch this is a 1917 uh, MS63 full head uh, standing liberty quarter. Uh, it's type one. Um, as you can see, the luster on this coin is beaming off of it. Um, and the reason why I bought this, which we we talk a little bit sometimes about uh, things we don't know too much about, but I bought this coin because um, of the flashiness of it, the price of it. Um, this coin really just stuck out to me um, as a dealer um, because. Just to the just to the beauty of it, like um, main if if something's ugly or dark or uh, the details aren't aren't there too much or the strike's a little bit weak, for me the coin's just not not nice enough. And so for this coin, when I picked it up, I'm like, you can't go wrong with a quarter that looks this nice. And so we picked this up from him next, added to the pile. Um, he was pretty firm on his prices, but like I said again, his prices were uh, really nice, a steal. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, most of these coins I bought for gray sheet uh, and maybe a little bit less. So, early bird does get the worm here. And let's keep showing you guys some coins. Up next, we have two uh, 1924 peace dollars. Uh, pur purchase these for gray sheet. Uh, they're mid state 66. Um, I would agree with the grade based on uh, a few factors. But. Uh, I picked up one of them and I was like this is pretty nice and then he had two 
and he offered them a gray sheet as well, which I thought was extremely uh, nice, considering uh, coin facts and everything is almost nearly double that. Um, so we ended up paying like I think six hundred dollars for the pair, um, but they're strong strikes, beautiful coins, blast white, um, something someone's looking after or looking for, um, and we couldn't we couldn't pass these by. Uh, I've been you guys have know I've been jumping into the peace dollar scene like crazy. And you know, I mean, mid state 66, a little bit better of a common date, and I thought they were beautiful. So I was like, you know what, I'm taking the plunge. We're buying two, and we'll find a customer for uh, these when when they arise. And so uh, I love these coins; they're beautiful. And let's jump into the next two. So. Uh, I actually bought this coin. This was uh, almost at the end of uh, the amount of coins we bought um, when I bought this one. But this is 1893 CC, and um, now honestly, honestly, God, this is probably the cheapest uh, 93 CC I've ever purchased. And like I said, early bird does get the worm here. Um, anything with 93 on it, <laughs> just people just love it. So I'm like, I'm buying this coin no matter what. It was a wonderful price. Um, it's actually a pretty nice circulated coin. There's not too many issues like a giant scratch or um, I don't think there's anything uh, too bad in terms of rim dings. Uh, the circulation isn't too wonky to where it's like scratched. Um, but this coin is pretty gnarly, pretty beautiful. Um, and like I said again, guys, get to, get to the show early. Spend the money that you need to spend. If you are uh, we're going to drive a long way like we did. We drove, I think, eight and a half hours each way um, on the light end. Um, make sure you get there early. Um, do the due diligence to uh, create that time because um, it's so important, so um, so vital for your business um, in terms of selling coins to get the coins that uh, will come out first um, and stack them high if you can. So let me show you guys a few more. All right, so this is a 1926S uh, AU55. I like, I like the coin a lot. Um, you know, it's an AU slider, um, but uh, the reverse is pretty beat. Uh, it has, has some, some wear on uh, the Eagle. And um, the cool thing about the show, which I want to talk to you guys about, is like uh, we got there early. We started racing around, buying a whole lot from a lot of people. And what would happen was... I would step over to like yeah this guy named Terry uh, he's a pretty cool dealer I step over to Terry's table there's a guy behind me saying hey Drew when you're done with him I need you to come look at my stuff and then I had another guy come by while I was talking to Terry he handed me a coin he said hey what would you pay for this coin and so uh, when you're early and you're cordial and you're talking to people and you're being nice to them and you're giving them your time um, people are gonna step out of their way and buy from you or sell from you um, and so we showed up early, uh, we were cordial, we shook everyone's hand, uh, we've been talking about, you know, if you start to build a relationship, it's even better, because you could say, hey, you know, how was the show last week, or I missed you last week, where have you been? And so, um, those types of conversations will be good, and then, uh, I guess another tip would be for you guys would be, you shake their hand and say, hey, what do you have in that's new? Because many dealers that I've met, um, I see them on a, a weekly basis. I'm down here in Texas or in Oklahoma. Um, and so the question that I always ask is, what do you guys have in that's new? Because most of the time, when they bring something in that's new, it's probably from an old collection. Um, it hasn't been offered to anybody else yet. And uh, you're probably going to you're probably gonna find something that you like um, that's, that's actually pretty rare. Because the longer something sits on a table, the less likely it's worth your time. So... This is a pretty nice coin, a little bit of an entry coin for someone that wants to build a set. And, you know, we want to offer stuff like this for anybody that's new to Peace Dollars. So, pretty nice coin. Uh, nothing too distracting about it either. Alrighty, as you guys already know, uh, the 1921 Peace Dollars are pretty hot right now. Uh, this one is polished, and I would say it's AU. Um... But we got it for a great price from that dealer. Um, he was pretty nice to us. Um, and uh, for the price that we got it from for, um, many of those you can't even find for this price currently. And so, um, like I said, uh, he started putting all this stuff out. And the residual uh, effect of what I've been hearing from many people is like, um, 
you know, hey, brother, I'm getting old, and uh, the pandemic's going on, and I don't know how I'm going to be able to sell this stuff in time, and so uh, when I put it out for you, um, you know, I want to give you the best price possible, and I want to do the best for you that I can, and so uh, we we had a lot of great conversations about, um, you know, where, where he was from, and, and how we started collecting, and um, kind of crazy stories that he had in his numismatic career, and um, it was just a really awesome time, and I'm, I was so tremendously uh, thankful for everything um, that he did for me and for my business, so uh, thank you. I forgot his name, and I'm so sorry about that, but he's a really good guy, and if you ever see me and him at a show, I'm definitely going to uh, have you shake his hand. He's a pretty cool guy. All right, we're going to be showing you guys the last coin today. Nothing too crazy, but it is in a green fatty. You know, hey, this is a 1922 uh, peace dollar. Um, and like I said, you're gonna when when you can try to find coins that uh, you know entry level peace dollar guys can can buy. Um, it doesn't consume too much of your capital, and uh, I like the coin because it has some subtle toning, and it has this kind of old retro. Uh, type of feel for uh, the fatty. Um, it has pretty nice details and pretty nice luster. And so uh, I wanted to thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Uh, just taking a gander through the coins. And uh, I hope you guys learn some stuff because this is this this lesson's probably the most impactful uh, lesson that I've shared so far. So thank you guys. I wanted to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did learn something new. Um, uh, please leave a like, uh, comment kind of what your favorite coin was from the video, um, and what's kind of your routine for going to coin shows. Do you show up on the second day uh, due to the cost of getting in? Uh, do you show up there first? Um, kind of what what's your game plan for a coin show? I'd love to know and I'd love to learn because we all have different routines that get us the best coins possible. So I'll leave a comment and subscribe if you're new. Uh, we pump out uh, three videos a week uh, normally to uh, entertain people and give them our insight on coins. So uh, thank you guys for watching today's video, and we will see you guys next time.